Hey guys, in this video I'm going to take a look at the software which came with my Razer Lycosa keyboard. Um, if you haven't already um, watched my unboxing video and um, a video of what it looks like when plugged in, you can um, check those out on my YouTube channel. Um, so let's look at the software. At the top here we have light options. I have it on by default. So all of the keys are illuminated or backlit I should say. Or you can set it to off or just the WASD keys will um, be um, backlit. Um, and for example, if I was to click WASD and click apply, the change um, would occur immediately. You would notice it by looking at your keyboard. Uh, for media player options, it's currently set to Windows Media Player. Uh, this is a new PC, so once I install iTunes and get it all sorted out, I will change that to iTunes. We have a bit of a virtual keyboard here and you can click on keys to set macros for them. I will get back to that in a second. And we have profiles here. We have 10 profiles which are most likely empty without any macros. Uh, what's the point of profiles? Um, you could have an everyday profile, a gaming profile for say World of Warcraft. And obviously um, if you, um, you know, have a profile for World of Warcraft and you click a key and it automatically presses a certain amount of um, different keys. You obviously don't want to use that profile when say typing up a Word document. So that's the point of um, profiles. Though you have to be careful when using macro keyboards with MMORPGs because you can get your account banned. So you have to um, check before you um, use them. Um, so let's get back to um, the keyboard and create how to create a macro. Uh, let's click the T key. So we have the T key. So for example, um, when I click the um, T key, it could um, it could automatically click a number of different keys. So if I click record and I physically touch them on the keyboard, I will type Q, W, E, R, T, Y, stop. And as you can see here, it's actually got the time in between of how long it took for me to press the keys after one another so um, you know it is pretty um, advanced so if you don't want them to be considered like I mean with the macro it's actually going to press the keys um, it's going to press the keys within those time frames so um, the Q key will be pressed 50 milliseconds after the Q key okay the W key will be um, you know, pressed um, 1200 milliseconds after the Q key, etc. So if you don't want the delays, you can tick the ignore delays between um, events. And the macro behavior can be set to run time, repeat while pressed, and repeat until next key is pressed. And um, let's reset the key. And for example, if I clicked um, T, it could um, do a basic command. You know, cut, copy, paste, undo all, find, new, print, save. Or there are a few other commands, swap windows, toggle windows, close window, lock PC, um, open explore, run, show desktop, scroll up, scroll down. Or you can launch your own um, programs, .exe, .inc. And you can obviously um, select what profile you want it to be um, applied to. So you could have profile 1 as your everyday, profile 2 as your gaming profile. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much it um, for the macro, I believe. And you can individually set the milliseconds or so um, between keys by using that. Um, and I believe, um, for example, with the T key, I could have T, because I've also got to raise the mouse, um, I could um, have a command um, run when I click the T key in the middle key of the mouse. So see, it's middle click, so T, um, plus middle click might do something etc if I'm not mistaken I haven't tested this out so I could be wrong tell me if I am though um, I think that's pretty much it for the software um, you know it has a lot of um, potential you can do a lot with the software um, I'm not sure if there is anything else that I can show you uh, so yeah we have the profiles you can obviously set the macros so for F1 key I could you know you obviously don't want to create macros for one touch of the T key, for example. Though if you wanted, you could create a macro for, you know, the keys at the top. Though you can pretty much do whatever you want. You can literally just screw people around if you want.
So, um, yeah, um, I'm not sure if there is anything else I can show you. You know, the software is pretty straightforward. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to ask me and I will, um, you know, I will um, try and, um, you know, check them out, you know, try and find a solution, etc. So that's pretty much it for this video. Thanks for watching.